Hi everyone, I'm Raven and in this video I want to talk to you about a few different ways that you can create your own sigils. So the first two methods I learned from Heart, so I'm going to leave her videos in my description down below just in case you want to check them out. And she learned the grid method from someone else. I will try to find the original post and link it in my description as well. So before I even start this video, I want to quickly mention that there is no such a thing as a wrong way of creating a sigil. It all depends on your practice, you might prefer a different way of creating your sigils and there is nothing wrong with that. If someone is telling you that you're creating your sigils in the wrong way, just know that you're not. It depends on your culture, on your tradition, on your path, it also depends on your sources or from whom you learn to create your sigils. I may have a way of creating sigils and another practitioner may have another way of creating them. But that doesn't mean that my technique is a better technique or my way of doing it, it is the right way. So the right way of making your sigils is the one that you prefer based on your practice and your preference. So just keep in mind this please, as long as it works for you, you are doing it the right way. So what is a sigil? A sigil is a symbol that is created with a specific intention that has a meaning. The term sigil derives from Latin. Sigillum, meaning seal, and it is the root of many other English words, such as signature, sign, and signal. In our magical practice, we use sigils in spell, spell bags, ceremonies, we carve them on candles or paint them on mirrors. You can also draw a sigil on your body with, a, with an eyeliner, you can place a sigil in between your phone case and your phone. You can also place a sigil on your lock screen. The limit of ways in which you can use a sigil is only your imagination. I mean, you can use sigils in so many different ways. This is how you are going to create your sigil. You want to start with a circle. The straight line is going to connect the letters or the numbers. When you encounter a double letter, you will create a half of a circle and you will end your sigil with a straight line. And if nothing makes sense now, don't worry, you will see how it works on the grid. It's really easy. Then you are going to create a nine-letter alphabet grid. So you will write down the numbers from 1 to 9 and then add all the letters from the alphabet down below. And this is how it's going to look like. Each letter is under a number and we are going to use this to create our sigil. I will create four sigils as an example for this video so that you can see how you can use these methods. So the first thing that you want to do, you want to think about a word. And if the word is too broad, you can use two words. I will start with karma, which is a simple word and it's not too long. Then we have banishing, that is a bit longer. Then we have psychic protection, which are two words so that you can see how to link them together in a sigil. And the last word is attracting wisdom, that have a double letter in the word attracting. After choosing your words, you want to write the numbers that correspond to each letter. As you can see, I made a mistake. Instead of writing down the number, I wrote a letter and I didn't want it to write the page all over again, so I just scratched that out. I do hope that doesn't bother you though. I will also link these sheets just in case you want to print them for yourself. I printed multiple copies just because it seems easy when someone else is doing it and you are just watching. 
but in reality it takes a bit of practice until you are happy with your sigil. Saturn Grid is the easiest one for creating sigils. So Hart mentions that Saturn is all about reality, ambition and longevity. Based on my researches, I found that people used to work with Saturn in magical workings regarding protection, banishing, removing obstacles, wisdom, learning from our lessons, karma, discipline, bindings, limitations, and death as well. But there are other planetary grids that you can be used for making sigils, such as Jupiter, that is all about prosperity, abundance, leadership, good health, and healing. The planet Sun, which is all about success, wealth, fame, riches, achieving personal goals, good luck, and positivity. Then we have Venus, that is all about love, romance, sexuality, fertility, friendship, and beauty. Then we have Mercury, that is all about communication, speed, creativity, and intelligence. Then we have the Moon, which is all about dreams, psychic abilities, fertility, intuition, hidden secrets, and mystery. Okay, so I wrote down my first word, and I'm going to show you how to create a sigil. So I'm starting with a circle. I then connect the numbers with lines. For the word karma, we have the numbers 2, 1, 9, 4, 1. And I will connect all these numbers together and end my sigil with a straight line. And as you can see, it is a pretty easy sigil and doesn't look too complex. I will use a black sharpie so that you can see it better. After finishing it, I will transfer it. I did 9 dots to kind of transfer it as similar as possible, but you definitely don't have to do that. I like the sigil the way it is, but if you would like to make it look a bit more different, you can definitely play with it until you like the way it looks. Next we have banishing and I will create a sigil for this word as well and then I will try to change the shape of it just a bit. And this is just an example, you can take your time and try different ways that you can draw it until it looks the way you like it. For the third sigil we have two words and because of that I will use two different colors just to show you both words on the grid and how I'm going to connect them together. And this is how it came out. As you can see, by using two words, you are going to create a more complex sigil and it will also be harder to transfer it and change its shape. And then for the third sigil, as you can see, I placed a curve for the double letter and for the rest it remains the same. So this is how it came out. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel like the original sigil has more mystery to me. And the one that I try to make look different seems more modern type of sigil. Then we have the letter sigil grid. And with this method you are going to just connect the letters from the grid. It is pretty simple. Using the same technique that we used on Saturn grid, we are going to start with a circle, connecting the letters with lines and ending the circle with a straight line. And I will create a few examples as well. So this is how everything came out. I think that it is easier to use this grid than the Saturn one, but you will have to try them out and see what you prefer. It does take a bit of time to get your sigils to look the way you want them to look. You can practice as much as you want and when you are happy with it, you can place it in your book of shadows or grimoire or transfer it on a piece of paper and use it when you need it. The next method that I would like to show you is creating a sigil without a grid. For those of you who are not interested in the methods that I talked about previously. If you are more on the creative side or love arts, this method might be for you. So the first thing that you want to do is start with the word. And if the word is too broad, you can use two words. Just know that the more words you add, 
the more complex your sigil is going to be. Then you want to cross all of the vowels. When you are done with this step, transfer all the letters that you are left with down again so that you can see them clearly. Then you are going to cross out all of the duplicates. So with this method you will need a shape to create your sigil in. I will use a circle for this example because the circle is my favorite shape. The more complex the shape is, the more difficult it can be to create your sigil. But you can definitely use other shapes. So here is my circle and with the letters that I have left, I am going to draw all of them inside this circle. For the next method, I will incorporate colors in my sigils so that I can add more intention in my sigil. And for the same reason, which is to add more intention, I will translate the remaining letters, the ones that I used for my sigils, and use the ban alphabet or the witch's alphabet and place the letters inside my circle but outside my sigil and all around it. And the reason that I'm using the ban alphabet is for the noisy people, but you can just place them as they are if you prefer to. And by the way, I will link the ban alphabet as well. It is on my Etsy shop, in, just in case you would like to support my channel. So here are a few examples using different colors to add more intention to each sigil that I created. And for the last method you are not going to need anything, so I will show you how I make sigils without a grid or a shape. This is in my opinion the easiest way of doing a sigil and the fastest way for me. And also I feel like with this method I can create bigger sigils and include more words if I need to, like to make it more specific. So just like with my last method, I will take my remaining letters and just write them on a piece of paper, connecting them together in a way that looks nice to me. Obviously you don't need a black paper, I just wanted to check the pigment from my white pencil on a black paper for so long and I felt like this is my chance to do it. So these are the results, please let me know in the comments down below if you tried any of these methods and if you like them. So the first two methods are for those of you who are not into creativity too much and love structure or want to incorporate planetary magic into your practice. So creating your sigil using Saturn's grid will add more intention to your sigil or more energy of that planet into your sigil. So if you don't want to work with planets, you might want to try the letter sigil grid or the other one that using a shape or the, the last one. Using different colors will also add more intention to your sigils. Types of sigils. So you can destroy a sigil and there are many ways to do it by using fire, water or physically ripping it apart. And the act of destroying it will activate the sigil. You can draw sigils on your body and while you're doing it, you're going to put your intention and your energy in the sigil 
and it will activate it and eventually it will disappear and stop working. A permanent sigil is made to last a very long period of time but it needs to be charged from time to time. The more intent and energy you're going to put into the sigil, the more it's going to last but all sigils need some type of battery or energy. Sigils can be created digitally but I prefer to write them or create them physically just because this is the way it works for me. So that's it for this video. As always, I thank each and every one of you who made it this far. Please let me know if you have any video ideas. I work so hard on this video, so if you love this video, if you enjoyed this, please like this video so that others can see it as well. Subscribe for more witchcraft content. I usually do informational videos and my experience on my journey. Be always kind to each other and I will see you in my next video.